lost cause So cold the streets we call home Lost souls in the world, the so cold Started at the bottom, we don't need no one Aye. Been with a girl since day one, day one's don't give a fuck when the fake ones Yeah I've been on the grind, that grind don't stop till they pin me up But put me in a box, we come from nothing Been through the struggle, that's real, yeah that's real And don't talk to me about trenches, cause we've been through them all Hit a rough patch, had holes in the wall Got a couple kids in the picture now, we gotta pick shit up just to make them proud Still these grogs wanna chat crap, tryna act bad Or I remember 15, tryna get to a bag Now 23, tryna get to a stack, need to feed my fan, that's facts Hey, yeah we come from nothing, broken homes with nowhere to go Streets are streets and no Hey everyone, it's Cameron here from Bogans. Uh, today we're working on Dylan's wagon. So, this is Dylan for people that don't know who Dylan is. Hey young guys. So, if Dylan wants to give us a quick rundown, what we're going to do on the wagon today? Uh, basically, we're going to do caster rod bushes and what was it? Uh, strut tops. And, and we've also we also going to chuck in SS seats package. that come out of. Uh, the SP8 that I had. So I sold these to Dylan for for a decent price. So we're gonna put these bad boys in. For my uh, trip up to Queensland. That because yeah, Dylan's going away to Queensland for about two weeks. Yeah. Gonna take so, the old girl see how she does. So I think we're gonna start off doing the seats first. Yep. Yeah, get that knocked out of the way. So these are the raggy old seats we're working with. So. <laughs> I believe Dylan's been banging around like this for about what, three and a half years? Yeah, nearly four years, man, but I think it's time to let him go because the uh, airbags are hanging yeah, out now yeah. and don't really want to get pulled over and defected. So, no. so hopefully, uh, changing seats, I'm going to try and clear the code he's got and see if that fixes it. Um, I might actually break the vacuum out and give the carpet a bit of a clean up. If yeah. not, uh, I think Jake might get a bit angry at us. I've been a bit slack on that behalf because, you know, having kids, the car gets a bit messy sometimes. So, I'll set you guys up and we'll get cranking into this. Um, we'll get the seats out, I'll grab the vacuum cleaner and we'll get to work. So, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I know it's been a while since we've done one, but... I figure Dylan wanted to do his car, I'm like, well, oh, I'll make it into a couple of episodes. So it'll probably be maybe two or three part episodes. So, I'll be back in a minute, guys. So Dylan's just over there. If he wants to tell you a bit more about the wagon, he can. Um, 04 VY wagon, 25th anniversary. Uh, pretty stock other than that. Uh, we have uh, slotted rotors all the way around, just your 19 inch VE wheels, uh, nothing really done to the engine, no, no extractors or anything like that, just basically a wire piece exhaust back for family slash cruiser wagon, eventually one day it'll be a sound wagon as well. But, yeah. Uh, back to disconnected. Like Dylan's already on it. Yeah. Uh, so, give you a quick look under Dylan's engine bay here. It's nothing flash flash, but this is its stock form for the time being. Yeah, 308,000 Ks original as well, and it's still going. So it's kind of been neglected in the last two years because I've had it nearly four years and only done two oil changes on it. But the old girl keeps going, and the only thing I've changed on it is a water pump and the inlet inlet manifold gaskets. Uh, as a lot of you guys know, I have the supercharged uh, Statesman, 
VR Stato. I've actually changed my mind with that car. I've actually sold the supercharger to Dylan. So we're going to supercharge this old girl. I'll let you guys in on what I'm going to be doing with said statesman at a later date. Only uh, four people know what I'm doing to that car. Dylan's one of them. Jake's one. And uh, me, me old folks are part of it as well. They know what's going on. So I'll give you a quick fucking walk around the wagon. So yeah, she's got loads in the rear. I have given him some loads for the front. Double SL sedan springs in the rear. He's got the old Vinos. Yeah. He did have the back one in there, but it yeah. uh, fell out. The uh, clipping on the top here has broken, and the, uh, the Venetians are actually over there on the step. But... So if we get to it, we'll get that back together. Um, but yeah, we'll get these seats out. So I'll set these guys back up here. We'll get the seats out, and we'll get into work. I'm a cheat, I'm gonna use a rattle gun. Well, I remember, so if you ever pull seats out of a Commodore, there's plugs here that run the airbags. If you don't unplug these, you could destroy the wiring. Also, remember to disconnect your battery when you do that first. Yep, too. so because you can set your airbag off. So, there's two bolts at the back here there's one there, one over there, and then there's obviously two in the front that are there and there. Yeah, she's a little dirty, but we'll get that cleaned out. We'll even tidy up this fucking wiring here. Yeah. Dylan's quick job. We'll tidy that up for him as well. I'm pretty embarrassed by that. I usually do a lot more of a cleaner job, but having a family and trying to do things in a project car at the same time, they kind of... Yeah, I'll let you get that other seat ready. Awesome. Uh, we'll see that. No.
Now, as you guys can see, it's pretty straightforward pulling the seat out. Not nothing too hard to do. We'll clear some of this up. Okay, I've been dealing with some rolling papers at some point. And you are actually. Hey, you got some chain floats around in here. Okay, eight little spinner is probably looking for. At some stage. What a lot of people don't know is the SS seats we're actually putting in here are actually electric. And when I had them in the in the SC8, I actually had to wire the passenger seat. Do you ever want to stop that winding noise that you have in your passenger side when you get in the car? Just do this. You check those seat though. No more miss though. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm about to set the back up, so it may get a little loud. But we'll get Dylan's carpet all nice and clean before we put the new seats in.
I'll show you guys a little little trick with these cars. A lot of people know this in the VY series. I learnt this when I brought my car sport. But if you look under the driver's side seat, there's a slit here. Alright? There's your VIN number. Not many people know that one. Did you know that one? What's that? That the VIN number's on the driver's side seat? No. Yeah, not many people know that one, but there's a slit in the floor right here, right? You lift that up, there's your VIN number. Is that the VIN or the, bo the body number? That's your VIN number that sits in your front window. Oh, that's cool. Not many people know that one. I found that out when I brought my cop sport. So you think about it, when they, well, like cars get stolen now, all cops really have to do, if they get swapped there, Yep. they just look under your seat. Pretty much, so if you ever get worried buying a VY VZ Commodore, Look straight on the driver's side front seat. Yeah, because sometimes people will go as far as having a VT and they'll dash swap hand front end swap these two yep. VYs and then you still got just a VT. Yep. I've seen that. I've actually seen that. Like, it's cool effort, but why don't you just buy a VY? <laughs> like, by the time you're done with it. Uh, this is the uh, front of the driver's side. Very, very simple to put in. So you see, take it out, put it in. Same step. Now, Dylan will be cruising some uh, comfier seats. We'll clean the other side out. Not as bad as the other side was. Seats are really comfy too, by the way, guys. Yeah, you feel like that when they're in the other car. In a later future times, you know, I plan on redoing my interior to Bermuda Blue. Just to change it up a bit. I reckon White Wagon will still be there. And we also plan on running some adventurous side windows and getting there. Get the car where I want it next time, but this is four years so far of just bits and pieces. Uh, as you see, seats are already in. They are electric, so we can't move them just yet because the battery's disconnected. I just realised something too. I only got caps on that one wheel. Chrome needs are missing off all the other wheels. I have chrome caps on every wheel. Yeah, I think I questioned that one. Yeah. I might have to go back to that. Uh, nah. Depends. Uh. 
Yeah, I could have sworn I had at least them on at least the front. I know that side's got them, so why doesn't this side have it? That's alright. I'm gonna take that look. Mm -hmm. a bit of a clean up on the inside at a later stage I am going to get Dylan to come around again I'll bre break out the carpet cleaner because some of it is actually embedded in the carpet I actually plan on replacing the carpet soon because you can get the uh, inlays so as you can see I've I've given it a bit of a clean up as what I could most of it's embedded in there so but for now it's clean enough to put the seats in so we'll get this other seat in on the other side a website online where I can actually get colour cards. Oh yeah. Blue, red, or uh, I'm just checking something. Yeah. Need a two prong plug like this the passenger side seat, but well, I Actually, so I can kind of make it legit. Just put two um, spades on it. This was my intention that I made when I had it in the SS. So because that car didn't come out with any seats, didn't have that. You can tell. <laughs> recommend to anyone running factory executive seats or anything like that in your car go and get yourself a set of SS seats way more comfortable Colson's are even better 
That's the long term goal for this. <laughs> but this at least works for now. Oh yeah. Boom. Done. Oh nice. I'm um, hoping that I'll be... I got a little bit of hail damage from the last hail that we had down here in South Australia. Well, how long ago was that now? Uh, it's almost, almost a year. Oh, not a year, about eight, eight or nine months ago. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Adelaide got slugged pretty bad. Unfortunately, the wagon was outside and got pummeled a little bit on the roof, but hey, it's a lot nicer than what it could have been. And there are any baby little things that look pretty easy to get out. It's the only thing that really lets it down now is just the things on it from the hail. But I'll hopefully have that fixed or learn how to fix it. In my also, have an SS front bar that I have to repair too. Yep, I'm so getting taught how to fix that while I'm up in Queensland, which would be a good learning process for me. So, Dylan's build is a very similar build to Jake's. We're pretty much like almost yin and yang in the uh, wagons. Yep. They're pretty much going to both be Super 6, both be bagged, pretty much identical really. Yes. Jake will have a silver one and I'll have a white one. So, what I've done here is, because a plug had been cut off of this, this seat, I've just put some uh, spade connectors on it for now. Because Dylan actually has the factory plug in the car to plug this in with, so... Because I'm cool. I can set this up for now, this will work for the time being until we can get a plug for it. I can pull this out because that was what I had Jerry rigged up in my old car. So, we'll get this seat in, we'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll cut this video and we'll be back with another one once we're done with the seats. See, so, if we didn't leave that Jerry rig there, it wouldn't be bogans on a budget technically. No. But, this is still bogans on a budget because we can't be bothered going to get a proper clip from you pull it. No, but it'll do for the time being. This is just the Oh yeah. Get it back in there. Well the only person that's gonna be sitting in this seat on the way up there on my trip is my little thirteen year old Kelpie, so he gets to ride in comfort. There we go. Oh, he's so strong. If I come around here, you'll be able to see it. Red goes into the that one. That'll go into that one like that. Mind you, the SDs are a bit long at the moment, but we can neaten all this up afterwards. You can even cable tie it under your seat out of the way of the rails and yep. stuff if you choose to. So, we'll, yes, it looks. We'll looks, probably just tuck it under the plastic for now. Yeah, so I'll, for now I'll push it back up under like this. We'll neaten it up a little bit later, like I said. Yes, we are Bergens on a budget. So we will do things on a budget. Alright, where are those bolts at, bro? Uh, they're in the cup holder. these a bit of a clean up, we'll, put, we'll sort this out, uh, out off the camera, cleaning this up and neaten that bit of wiring up, mm -hmm. but we thought we'd do the video showing you how to do the seats, we'll show you that they work in the next video. I do have to, I do have some more dash plastics that I need to redo my interior paintwork on. Yeah, I've just given the... this to Dylan, who you didn't have one, I had a spare one. I also ended up with the gauge pod, you know the those added extra killer wasps that you don't have <laughs> just oh, to look yet, cool anyway. not yet that'll be on a future episode
it's there for false advertising at the moment, which I'm fine with. Backyard, the uh, back seat's uh, a bit cluttered. Is the rubber still over there? Uh, yeah, mate. <coughs> Thank you. We'll get the battery back up, and we'll show you that these seats work. Okay, connect the battery back up. Yep. Alright, and we'll, we'll see what we got. Oh, look at that. This seat works perfectly. This one works perfectly too, man. Yeah, the whole recline setup all works. Yep. So, Look at that, mate. O E M. I'm pretty sure with these I can put the uh, relay in for the memory seats. They um, have the option, don't they, down here? I'm not too sure. I think they have a different loom. Just have a little again, I know they do, most of them do have an option. Yeah, here, look. Power seats, memory seats. Yeah, so that's probably. Probably needs a pin put in it. Yeah. Because some of them have two pins and they leave one out. So we can pin that in at a later stage. Yeah, that's that's all good. And I even have the uh, option here for sunroof if I wanted to, but you know what? I don't really care too much for sunroofs because they're more maintenance than they're worth. Yep. Take it for someone that owns two sunroof cars. I've owned one too. Had my Calais and uh, first night I owned it, it turned into a luxury five-star swimming resort inside of it. Middle of uh, winter. So yeah. Time I drove it somewhere, I had to carry a tarp with me to cover the roof. <laughs> so we'll call this one uh, part one of doing some work to Dylan's wagon. So you all know who Dylan is now. There you go. And anyone that ever sees the car on the road, don't be afraid to say hello and that. Yep. Yeah. So we're always hanging out, chilling. This car, we're always out and about having fun, playing with cars. So, I'm Cameron from Bogans. I'm Dylan. Dylan's now part of Bogans. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace out.